Hi, this is Dr. Schaefer. The Finesse Office Maxillary Balloon Dilatation is an office procedure performed under local anesthesia through a canine fossa approach, a three millimeter opening into the anterior wall or front wall of the maxillary sinus is made. An accessory uh, sheath is left in place. A 2.7 millimeter zero degree scope is seen in the maxillary sinus to evaluate it. Superiorly, the natural maxillary sinus ostia is seen an accessory osteo seen inferiorly on the right. Through a double lumen cannula, a 0.5 millimeter flexible endoscope is passed. The natural osteo is seen at 12 o'clock. A balloon tip catheter is then passed through the other lumen. The green tip is the end of the balloon catheter. It is pointed in upward direction and attempts to cannulate the natural opening. This is done under direct endoscopic visualization. Once the proper alignment is in place, the tip is inserted into the ostium and the balloon catheter is placed into the infundibulum and ostium. It is then inflated to 12 atmospheres of pressure. It is left inflated for approximately 0 to 10 seconds. It is then deflated and removed and the maxillary sinus ostium is then reevaluated with the 0.5 millimeter scope and the 2.7 millimeter scope. Now the balloon is totally deflated and will be removed from the infundibulum and ostium. The 0.5 millimeter scope is used here to evaluate the ostium, which it is clearly seen as to be widened and enlarged. The 2.7 millimeter scope is then passed through the accessory sheath and is also well visualized that the ostium has been enlarged. The contralateral left side is seen here. The ostium here is inferior to the osteal ridge. It is also extremely small and narrow. The double lumen catheter is then passed after the 2.7 millimeter zero degree scope is removed from the access sheath. Once the uh, 0 0.5 millimeter scope is in place, the balloon tip catheter is inserted through this second lumen. The green tip is the end of the balloon, and it is directed into the ostium. Here it is extremely narrow. The alignment has to be made in the right direction. The green tip has to be seen directly going into the ostium as is seen here. It's then advanced into the infundibulum. And then it is inflated. In this particular case, the balloon retrogrades out upon inflation. In this case, it was left inflated for 10 seconds, then removed and reevaluated. The second passing was performed. Once it is removed, no suturing is required to close. the trocar insertion point. Patient can resume a uh, regular diet. Icing of the cheek is required for the first day or so. They can return to regular activities the next day. Since there's no tissue removal, there's no bleeding.